Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, I have advanced the timeline forward quite a bit. Now, um, so we had discussed, uh, or I, just, I talked about in the last few episodes, what we were going to do moving forward. Um, I've got the Battlemaster re-outfitted. The Victor has been re-outfitted. Um, the Bushwhacker that we lost the arm on has been refitted. Um, and I think that's all I messed around with. Now, the Battlemaster is going to go for a run today. We're going to see what we can do with it. Um, I'm going to take you into the uh, mech base, show you that in a second. Um, the other thing, too, is we're going to push forward and get more Argo updates. So, in the past, I think it's, the timeline's been advanced forward almost a couple of months uh, since the last time. Now, I ran a milk run, two and a half skull milk run. I just actually finished that and got everything fixed um, just because I had time while the Battle Master was uh, being updated. Um, and I figured, okay, two and a half skulls. It was against uh, the pirates, and I'm like, okay, it won't take much. But it, they ended up being two lances full of mediums, and I took it for full sea bills rather than taking any salvage at all, which the salvage I got was a light gauss rifle. Not that I'll use it, but I've got one now. Um, but there was like an Ebon Jaguar. There was a whole bunch of good stuff. And I was like, ah, man. Anyway, there was a, a Thunder Artillery, uh, not a Thunder, uh, an Arrow Artillery piece in a vehicle. Like, there was all kinds of cool stuff. And anyway, I didn't get any of it. So um, I didn't want to take stuff off camera either, which is why, well, part of the reason why I went full C bill is I didn't want to kind of take stuff off camera without you guys seeing what I'm getting. So that was part of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're still at Itrim here, uh, still two and a half skull planet. Um, I'm hoping we get some good missions. I haven't had a look at the command center just yet. Uh, but let's go to engineering real quick. So in the past little bit, I was able to get the uh, upgraded gymnasium. Um, and wasn't wasn't the bar, it was something else I picked up. Both of these are two morale and one tech. So mech tech right now is at 34, which is great. So right now we're going to go, once we get the sea bills, don't have it quite yet. We almost do. We will out to this mission. Um, we're going to go ahead for the Junkyard Leopard right away. And then we're, I think we've got enough updated here that we can at least get, I think, another two mechs into play, which is what I'm going to push straight forward for now. Uh, so I'm hoping we can do that before having to get the last, like the Gamma Pod, the last uh, pod um, updated. Uh, because that's going to be a fair bit of sea bills too. So if we can get two lances of six, that's kind of what I'm... Or two drop lances of six. That's kind of what I'm looking for, I think, for as a good start. So we're going to just motor through that stuff right away. Uh, let's go to the mech bays real quick. So um, I'm going to take the Battle Master out for a spin today. Here we are here. Um, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I'm going to leave the Avatar behind for now. Now, uh, I'm giving this to Hopper right now just to test out. Um, but I think once we do go to two lances of six, and I'm trying to figure out who's going to go where, most likely it's going to go end up going like this, I think, to start. Uh, or it might go this way. I don't know yet. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to run this second lance yet. Now, we're going to more than likely find better st stuff. We do have another Warhammer that we can put together right away. I'm just waiting for parts because I want to put two of them together. Um, we don't really have the C-bills. I can drop the Rifleman right away and bring that forward. And I think I'm... I think without, you know, better results from the Mortis, that'll probably end up getting dropped too. But we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to leave these guys down here for now. Uh, leave this here because it's just out of the way. So uh, let's have a look at the Victor first. Now the Victor got, you know, pretty or not too heavily damaged. We only lost a shoulder mount, which um, was kind of disappointing. But we do have we had two left over. Uh, but I didn't need it for this actual build, which is kind of good. So I did revise. Now, we did have the Ultra 10 on the left, or sorry, on the right arm, and a large VSPL and a medium X-Pulse in this arm with the weapon mount and the heat reduction. So this guy actually runs a lot cooler now. So let's go into the, and have a look at this guy. So this guy was a perfect candidate for a, let's not do that. Let's go equip mech. Uh, perfect, uh, up, um, candidate for the rotary, uh, heavy rotary AC5. We got um, four tons of ammo. Now this is not a perfect loadout. This is just an intermediary loadout. Um, I left, left the advanced optics in here just to give it a little bit better chance to hit as well as the fire control system advanced. 
Uh, it does minus one recoil, which is great because this thing has got three recoils. So we got minus one, minus two, minus three. Plus we'll have another minus one or minus two from the pilot, which would be great. So I'm hoping this doesn't jam. I know it's going to jam, but hope it doesn't jam all that much. Um, everything else stayed the same. I, I put an AR-12 sheath beacon in here um, as its ECM suite only because I needed the extra one and a half tons of weight, unfortunately. Uh, I also put case two on this side to protect the ammo um, and then rounded out with a pair of ER medium lasers on the one arm. I like to replace this with clan ERs, but for now this will do. And then because I couldn't decide what to throw in this in the shoulder uh, and we were limited weight, I just threw a t Thunderbolt 10 in for now. Um, it's indirect fire, you know, so and it's long range. And I do have kinetic kill on this. Um, so it's times two modifier to through critical armor chance uh, plus 25 percent to all range brackets um weapon damage decreases at close range to a minimum of 25 percent so the farther away the more damage it does plus 50 percent damage delta armor so it's perfect for softening up targets um and it's got seven hit points so hopefully it'll be hard to shoot down but uh there's only six shots per um so i'm hoping that this does okay We'll see how it goes. I think the heavy rotary autocannon just is fire support. Um, so I pulled off the. Um, I didn't need to. I didn't need to have the exchanger on this thing anymore. So I pulled that off, put an AMS flare on, just for a little extra defense. And that's it. Didn't touch this thing other than that. So oh, sorry, that's not true. I put in a, just a regular double heat sink kit, and then I removed the prototype double heat sink kit because we needed that for the Battlemaster. Now just a quick update on the X3 Bushwhacker. This is the one that we lost the heavy MRM-30 on. So I just put in our regular MRM-30 and three tons of ammo. It's pretty much the same. Um, two tons of improved, one ton of incendiary, and that's it. Nothing else changed. Now this is minus one accuracy, so I'm hoping to get some weapon mounts for the arms and stuff that I can add to this thing. Uh, but for now, that'll be it. Um, the damage has dropped, obviously, because of this, but you know, there's less chance to be shot shot down by AMS. So I'm hoping this does well, but we shall see. Now it does have the uh, advanced zoom mark one, which gives it a little bit better chance to hit it at, at its kind of proper range of up to 540 meters. Um, this is 480, but still it's not bad. Um, so I'm hoping that works out, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then the last thing, of course, is the Battlemaster. Now this is not the final version of the Battlemaster. This is kind of... I want, like I said, it's just I want to test it to see how it does. Um, I don't really have all that much uh, with regards to weapons, so if we go, quickly go to storage, um, not storage, sorry, components. Uh, Ballistic-wise, I don't really have a lot. I've got the light AC-20, you know, LBX-10s and 2s, which I, I think at, you know, heavier and later stages, these are kind of okay weapons but not really what I want to be using ultra 10 which we took off the uh, the Victor for now got a heavy rack regular rack um, rotary auto cannon 20 which we could add on hellstorm thumper artillery sniper artillery uh, a bunch of gauss rifles so I mean we do we're doing okay for ballistic as far as lasers go not so much um, most of our half decent lasers are, are in play we do have one extra large vspl got a, a couple of ppc series um, good range damage is 50 so it's mm, uh, heat 30 um, i think i would probably go with the large vspl and a faster mech over these two at a, and a slower mech but um, we got a plasma cannon as well but I, we don't have any plasma ammo unfortunately and then as far as uh, missile systems go, we don't have anything that's amazing. We got the IATM-6, but we don't have any ammo for it. Got a bunch of Thunderbolts and a bit of ammo. Uh, MML-5s, a couple of MML-9s. We got a heavy MRM-10, which is okay, but mm, 10 missiles, I would rather have, you know, um, uh, something better than that. And this, of course, the ammo we have um, requires arrow. Um, so... I would like unless we're having a dedicated uh, missile mech there's no reason to put it this heavy MRN 10 in anything just yet uh, and then you know support we've got we do have AMS integrated layers of MS tag barrages so no we don't have a lot of weapons and stuff um, but you know it's not bad um, equipment wise we're doing a lot better equipment wise I think than anything um, we've got a lot of backup heat sinks you know extra heat sink kits 
tons of exchangers and stuff for weapons. We got a hatchet and retractable bl retractable blade, both of which we have one inside the mortise. So if something happens to it, we've got those upper arm recoil, which we can use in something, uh, which we don't really need right now. But later on, if we do have more ballistic, we'll be using that for sure. Um, supercharger, a mask, a couple of TSMs, you know, all kinds of electronic warfare suites, uh, combat shield, uh, multi-track for targeting computers, jump jets, case, tons of, well, not tons of cores, but, you know, enough for a group of backup cores, uh, for lots of fire control systems, thermal vision, which I need to add to something yet, I haven't done that yet, but I will, uh, and sensor trackers. Now, these were going to get added originally to the Battlemaster, uh, but I decided against that, so these will probably be going on something else. Not sure quite yet what they're going to go on, but, uh, you know, on a plus one heatsink kit. So, I mean, component-wise, we're okay as well. Um, so we're really going to be focusing on um, generating a fair bit of C-bills and picking up, like, as many um, battle computers and stuff as we can. So let's go have a look at the Battle Master now that I've said all that. Um, so this, I went with, I, I played around a fair bit with this thing. Uh, I played around with two large VSPLs, but the problem is is the backup weapons uh, Like these are 480 meters plus 10% for the pilot distance wise So you're looking at just a little over 500 meters, which really isn't that far Especially for a mech that's going to be moving this slow. It's got a 320 core. So it's not that fast We got a movement of four six I think or three five. Yeah, it's even slower than what I thought so it's pretty darn slow um, But as far as heat goes, I mean look at the heat efficiency on this Heat sinking 61, Alpha Strike 57. So we've got a minus 20% for the Basilisk FF, minus another 30% for the prototype double heat sink kit, and then we've got one, two, three prototypes for another minus 12%. So we're minus 62% in our heat right away. And even more, the arms have another minus 15% to the weapon heat generated. So originally with the two large VSPLs on here, my range was very limited. Um, and it was already pretty darn hot. So I think I, I was able to kind of, and I, I did, and I had the two large VSPLs, and with the weight I had left over, really all I was able to do is put a couple of missile systems in here. Um, for, like, and heat and stuff, because with that I had to have another prototype double heat sink in here and everything. But I think this is probably um, the, a good balance. We've got an exchanger also for minus 15% weapon heat generated in the heat bank. So even if someone does use flamers on us, we're going to be fine. Um, so we've got the heavy PPC in this arm. Um, now it's 75 damage, 45 heat, 720 range, which is pretty good. 720 I think is, is you know, respectable for this. Um, we've got the weapon mount in here um, to reduce any recoil that the weapon would have. It's got three, but we've got that, we've got this, and then whatever pilot recoil. Um, Plus, the, the, of course, the plus two to hit from this too, right? So, which is great. And then the same thing on the other arm, uh, plus two to hit. You know, this thing doesn't have any recoil I'd have to worry about, but, um, you know, we've got the uh, cooling jacket on here as well. So, you know, bonus to hit in this side. Then we've got a snub, no, snub nose piece PPC in the torso. It does have damage fall off, but it does have a comparable range to the heavy PPC. Um, now, I thought about putting in uh, one of those, I think it was a series PPCs. What was it? The PPC series smasher um, it's a little less damage um, and of course the close range but I like the fact that uh, this doesn't have that close range issue so if we do get mechs close to us this will give us a little better chance to hit and that's pretty much the only reason why it shows this one plus the saving of one ton and then I've got a medium X of X pulse in here too so for close range we've got some uh, good accuracy plus a turret mount to give these guys plus two to hit which is also a bonus now this has got two recoil on it um, so we got to worry about that in the, in the torso, but I think other than that we'll be fine. Dropped in the command console here, so plus one initiative for for all lance mates. 50 lance base sight distance to all allies, which I think is going to be definitely handy uh, to increase resolve gain for all lance mates. So we're going to be d hopefully doing a lot of pinpoint shooting with this thing, and of course with the uh, the um, um, Black Knight and the Warhammer 2C, which we have. Uh, injuries resist. Okay, that's fine. Pancers, passive sensors, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you can't add a Guardian ECM or you can't add anything else ECM-wise in here because this is what you're kind of forced to use. I did have a Warfare Suite in here initially, but I, I ended up having to lose that. Um, now, I 
this might work with with four max i don't think it's the perfect loadout with four max i think once we have six running this will be the perfect way to go but i want to test it out just to see what it does with our lance and how things work out um we've also got a uh um, an active probe on here right sensor lock on all enemies within 500 uh 500 meter radius six turn cooldown uh generates 20 heat but still though that's that's actually kind of cool uh, unfortunately, it's just a basic cockpit and basic fire control system. So, I mean, the other way to go would be to put a, a dedicated, um, like a, like a the, either the pirate fire control or just a fire control system advanced with uh, range, bonus, evasion, miss, things like that, and then put in a um, tracker sensor for the plus two long and extreme range uh, chance to hit. Um, so that's another option as well. Um, and then whatever we can get for a cockpit, which is gives us some good gunnery. We can remove the heat bank and add a, um, a better targeting computer in here. That's the other option. Um, it's got an XL gyro in it with endo steel and, of course, the advanced prototype heat sink kit. And that's it. Um, I didn't go too crazy with this guy. I'm going to test it out today. 3.5 movement is going to be problematic, but at least it'll be able to keep pace with the... Uh, um, with the... Uh, Black Knight, and the Black Knight will be able to provide uh, AMS protection. So we'll see how it goes. The Black Knight may have to start uh, putting in more AMS ammo, but I don't know. Anyway, let's get into a battle now that I've kind of gone through all this. So uh, let's go and have a look at the command center now because I haven't had a chance to really look through here. So we do have some four, even five skulls. Heavy lure uh, against Capella Confederation 5 Skull. I don't think we want to try that just yet. Let's try something that I don't have to worry too much about. Capturing a base against 4 Skull against... Yeah, this. I think this will probably be fine. Now, it's, you know, I'd nice, like to have the, the missile mech to be able to hit the... Uh, the um, any uh, protective um, towers, but I think... We'll, or turrets, I think we'll be fine, though. What's tamper-proof here? Covering operatives. Now... This, that's in the desert. This is in the highlands. Let's take this so I, don't, so I don't have to worry about heat problems. Let's negotiate this and go full salvage. Let's hof hopefully we get something good out of this. Capellans kind of hate us already anyway. So all right, taking the avatar out, putting the battle master in. Yeah, finally get a chance to run this guy. All right, let's do this. All right. So apparently Darius thinks there won't be any turrets. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is any at all. We know this mission. What do we got? I have no idea what these guys are. Find out soon enough. Let's just go pummel the... Cr Wait, are those our guys? Were they blue? They dropped right on the base? They dropped right on the base. Sucks to be you guys. They did. Vulture 2. Ow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alright, what do they got here? These guys are a little pissed. Is that a Highlander 2 seat? No. Okay. I'll need some help with the pronunciation of this. Hecticon Chiris? Chiris? Chiri? Cherries? Heck at... Oh my god, I give up. Alright. It's a H something. TBM-5 carrier. Well, it makes me wish I had uh, long-range missiles now. Now, they got to have more than just two guys here. Man, we're like so out of position. I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> you should have told us earlier that we needed to be that much closer. Let's get out of this fucking hills here. Sorry, pardon my French. We're going to get moving this way. Get on the road. Get over this way. Yeah, you need to get out of there, buddy. Ooh, not bad. How can I help? I just feel dirty have, having Hopper in a mech that's not a missile mech. That. He just looks so wrong. Standing by. All right, go see if you can give those guys some help. Copy that. We'll be with you in about, I don't know, 20, 30 turns, something like that. You should have the battle battle over by then, I think.
Yeah, so that that last battle I did for a milk run that unfortunately you guys didn't get to see. I, I was watching some pretty good AI moves. I gotta say, like, um, there was a couple of hunchbacks. One of them had an AC-20, the other one was the SRX, SRM-6 version. And the AC-20 version got hammered early on, lost all of its weapons. And then it just spent its time dodging and weaving and like hiding like behind rocks and moving around. It was still there. And um, the other one um, took some heavy damage and then moved to one side. And then when I was able to target it again, it ran, I say one side, it was, it was on this narrow passageway on top of this hill, right? And then when it took some damage, it moved completely over to the other side and da part way down the hill just so that it would hide. Red October, what the hell is that? Yeah, you're not having a good day. That's what you get for dropping on the base way ahead of us. Red October, man. Okay. Well, we know what three of them are now. Oh, four of them. What's this guy? Fire support demolisher. Oh man. I've got your back. Roger. Let's go. Yeah, well. Makes me wish I brought the Avatar now. Well, our allies will be dead by the time we get there. Maybe they'll soften them up a little bit for us though. Okay, the AMS did some good job there. Good did some good job. The hell am I talking about? Did a good job. Alright, let's get into here. I wish there was a way you could keep this in flight mode. I know it's a I know it's a VTOL, but it's really like the idea is that it's converting and then flying and then reconverting and landing, right? I wonder if they I mean it'd be nice to say that it's still in in flight mode, so you know, things like flamers, anything that you can't use against the VTOL, you wouldn't be able to use against the lamb. But then you couldn't, you couldn't maintain your stability. So when you land, or when you end your turn, you can't brace. Unless you land. Which I think would be totally fair. Alright, we're moving now. Here we go. Let's get that speed. These guys are so dead. <laughs> oh. I feel so sorry for you guys. You should have brought more than two. Go. Or should have not even been, like, at the base, man. It's going to take us, like, forever to get there. Destroy the occupying enemy force. Twenty. So he did get the vehicle. Okay. Although it's Red October, I think it's going to... Is that arrows? I think it is. Okay, that's not bad now. He's starting to move. It's going to get trickier too when we've got two lances. I'm wondering if they're going to split us up like this. Or if they'll drop us all in the same area. Because that'll be interesting. Anyone that's, that's, that's playing Rogue Tech that knows, please let me know. Wow, man. We're trying to get there, buddy, but... This isn't capture the flag. Standing on the base isn't going to do anything. Yeah, you're fucked. Maybe I should have, um... Queen Bee jump back. Just so that when our our main guys, or the, our helpers die, we can at least get into, uh, moving freely without having to worry about bullshit. Either that or maybe she, maybe she can kill all these guys before uh, mm. Roger that. Thought about going in the trees but it's awfully lively down there. Can we, yeah, I can tell. The area isn't clear. Eliminate hostiles and secure it before proceeding to... Uh, but I wanted to do other stuff. Maybe I should have jumped in front of this guy. Take that. It's fine. Orders. It's fine. 
We're still out of range for uh, target lock or sensor lock. I'm learning the distance on that thing now. It's got a pretty good range. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. Standing by. It's got a pretty good range, but not quite good enough. Roger that. Yeah, so I think, you know, um, Fist of Dorm was right. Trying to run like an assault to heavy and two mediums would be really tough in a lance. But I think if we can run... Oh man, yeah, nice. If we can run two assaults, two heavies and two mediums, I think we'll be okay. Or maybe, like, I mean, we definitely need one medium for sure as an e like a electronic warfare mech that we can get into the enemy. So if we can get more lambs, that's perfect. This thing looks ridiculous. Don't worry, buddy, I got you. Oh, maybe I don't, but I'm trying to get you. Yeah, this guy's slow as... Slow as wiener schnitzels. But our visual range, I mean, 50 meters, I don't know. Not bad. Okay. We missed that. What did you get? Anything? Did he bail out? Did he die? I'll love it if our uh, guys kill these guys. Yes, Commander. Uh, where's that Red October? Affirmative. Let's get on this guy. Oh man, it's so nice to have her fighting cool again. Oof, that's terrible. One ballistic, two missiles, so it must have rocket launchers. Uh, let's hammer this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to Vigilance, just in case he decides to shoot rocket launchers at me. And destabilize me. Ooh, penetration. Penetration. He's panicking too. Nice. Look at that evasion. It's crazy. So I played this weekend. I played excessive amounts of uh, BattleTech. My, I don't want to call it a second series, but the the offline um, game that I'm playing, and um, tried a few things out. Uh, tried swarm ammo. Tried using mortars. Which are, I don't know, I'm still up in the air about mortars. I really am. It's like, early on, they're great if you don't have, like, missile mechs. You can put them on ballistic mechs, which work fantastic. Oh, you hung out there, did you? Oh, we got them! Yeah! Screw you! Um, so, I'm trying to play around with weapon systems I don't normally use. Our guys may survive. Uh, I just jinxed them. Sorry. I just jinxed you guys. I really am sorry. Commander. Um, yeah, we can't, uh, can't stay there. Still in good range. Yep. Let's jump over here. Jump jet. Let's get on this guy. We could do this whole fight jumping back and forth. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Here it comes. Firing on target. Nice. Still weak damage. Talk I think I want to get all those as medium, um, X-Pulses? Christ, yeah, you're coming in fast, all right. So it'd be nice if we can get, like, see, the 20 damage, the 30 damage is, nah, I mean, they're okay. But, uh, you know, I, I gotta say, the, the, yeah. the medium X-Pulses are really the, um, the weapon of this... Uh, we're out of range still. Um, the weapon of this uh, um, version of uh, Battletech, I think. Roger. It's the combination of damage, weight, heat produced, and accuracy. Right? The plus one, the plus one accuracy, the um, plus one evasion, ignore. Forty-five damage for twenty heat and two tons. It really is, and four hundred and twenty meter range. Like, it's way better than, you know, I'd use it, to use it over two medium lasers, for sure. Got hostile reinforcements. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. You gotta get... Uh, call 1-900-SUE-TANK. Yeah, right. Wouldn't it be one triple eight? Whatever. Ow. 
We can mitigate that. What is this guy? Jingo? Nice. I'm on this guy. I'm on him. Well, not quite yet, but I will be. Oh, yeah! I'm on him right now, too. Alright, we're at a range still with the uh, sensor lock. 27, not bad. Firing. Two hits. Nice. Enough to kill? No. How can I help? Keep pushing. Moving at a sprint. Yeah, so like I was saying, the medium X pulses are really a, it's a it's a champion weapon, man. Uh you should be able to land without a problem. Cause you're a champion. Lifting off. And now we can go ahead and vigilance. And we can go ahead and do some more damage. Yeah, that should do it. See ya. Okay, that problem solved. Christ, she may do this whole thing by herself. Yeah, because, I mean, if this was a Lance of Six, both of our mediums would be up there already. Banshee. Ooh! That's like 95 tons, right? Or 90 tons? What is it? I think it's 95. Okay, you need to kill the other vehicle first. What do we got back here? A Po 2. Locust 1B, not worried about that guy. Heh, <laughs> watch, he'll be the decider of the match. Two energy, one ballistic. So it's the, I think it's got an AC-20 if I'm not mistaken. But laser-wise, I have no idea what it's using. Ordered. Christ. Um... Do we go up? I guess we go up. Well, it's going to take forever to get through the freaking trees. Just keep going this way. On the move. Full speed. This oh, is really on. not a good uh, mission to kind of like do a proof of con concept here. So we killed... So all of the enemy vehicles are gone. Is there no way to get... Hmm... Okay, let's get back here. Yeah, maybe not there. Maybe here. We'll go. Get in a position where we can attack these guys. Okay, Quakey. What's up, you know for sure you're not is gonna not gonna get in this battle. Slow ass. Acknowledged. At least you got your AMS covering us. We gotta find a, another weapon for that. Uh, Black Knight that we can throw on that's going to give us some range. Ready to run. Well, at least you're giving us, like, resolve and initiative. Alright, well, I'm going to do another ma like a, another mission right after this one. Because this is not a good example of what this lance can do. I mean, it's, it's a good example of what Queen Bee can do, but... Oh, you are so in trouble. I'm coming for you. This is... Yes, kill him. Okay, the one rack's on jam. Now what? Three medium axe pulses and sniper artillery. That's dangerous at close range. There's our X pulses that we wanted. That's the Poe heavy tank. Uh, yes, Commander. We should be almost in range now for a sensor lock. Yeah, we can get that guy. Uh, let's hold off. We might be in range for some of the, uh, the other targets. And I don't think... I'm going to reserve her. I want them to move first so I can get behind that guy. Yeah, keep him moving forward. Um, Ready for order. Yeah, I want to save it for some of the more juicier targets, like the Banshee. I mean, he's not going to have an invasion anyway, but maybe the Po-Tank or something like that, I don't know. 
Battle master can't do a goddamn thing. Okay, she's almost out of AMS. How can I help? It's doing a really good job though. You keep going. Yeah, three five's not cutting it. We need a four hundred. We really do, but we're not gonna get that anytime soon. Unless we get lucky. I'm only phantom mecking this because um, this guy's got X pulses and I don't know Confirm. how accurate he's going to be with all of them. Let's get back here. Yeah, look at that. Let's get back here. Let's just attack this guy. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, we got the... <laughs> we got resolves up the ass. So I'm going to just vigilance this one so I can fire again and get out of here. Man, her visual radius, too, is, like, ridiculous. Yeah, look at that. Yes, yeah. Commander. Yeah, it went before me. Do I want to... How do I want to engage these guys? It's going to be using artillery on me anyway, so let's... Uh, I don't want to be near that Banshee, though. I'm going to try and play this game a little smarter than I have been in, in some of the past episodes. Let's get over here. We don't need to engage right away. We'll brace and shirk off our uh, instability. we got time for engaging these guys. Oh, somebody went through a minefield. Ooh, there we go. No, they're still just out of range of sensors. That's fine. Let's just uh, try and shred this guy. Inflicted some heavy damage. You know, the Warhammer, we can look at doing maybe a different build on it, too. I mean, if it's faster than the Battlemaster, maybe it becomes, you know, a really heavy energy Talk build. There we go. Confirmed. And we pull off the lasers off it. Yeah, see? I'm thinking we're going to want to go ahead and take out this uh, command console for right now. Triggering an alpha strike. But at least that guy's in range of everything. Yeah, this mech is going to stay so cool. I couldn't get over. I put the two... Um, VSPLs in it, 90 heat each, 90 heat each, right, it's, and then with everything in, it was like, you know, Waiting for orders. the max heat was like nothing, like it was like, it was just so heat efficient with the two VSPLs, the exchanger, the uh, prototype double heat sink kit, it was just ridiculous. I copy. All right, finally we kill a locust. Target eliminated for House Arano. Yeah, Banshee's making a move towards this. The could here. I've got your back. Keep going this way. We'll eventually get to see him, maybe before this is over. Come on, buddy. Put some flames on him or something. Which way is that Banshee facing? Oh, it's... Oh, it's going up the hill. Okay. I thought it was facing the other way there for a second. Let's get up here. And then... There we go. Now, I don't think this is going to make a difference on this guy. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, I think his... I think his... Um, I don't think he has any Standing evasion. By. Let's give this guy... a whole lot of fuck you. Um, not close range. 
That looks like it still is. Let's get into here. I think we're okay with our stability. Let's just go ahead and shoot this guy. Enemy Bringing the pain. Yeah, man. Score to critical hit. Yeah, that, um, I think it was the Eben, I think it was an Eben Jaguar. Anyway, the one mech that I was facing had that, uh, regenerating armor, the cheat armor. I'm still going to call it cheat armor, guys. I don't care what you say. So I left it till last, and I didn't realize it had that cheat armor on it. It took me forever to bring it down. It was just ridiculous. And it wasn't even a heavy mech. It was like, I don't know, 65 tons or 70 tons or something. It was like... I'm like, really? It didn't take that long. But then by that time I had run out of arrow pretty much run out of arrow ammo, so. Good to go. We're just gonna get here in time to kill that banshee. Hoping we can leg him. Is he still in? He looks like he's still in my arc. Might be. Find out in a second. Talk to me. All right, hoop snake, get up here. Nothing. Standing by. Quakey. Ooh. All right. Hauling ass. I don't think our goss is in range, but it might be. Nope. Tag is though. Confirmed. Nothing. I guess I could have targeted the ground with the barrage, but... Aye, aye. Oh, we don't have range on that. We don't have... Yeah, see, these guys are, are, are crafty little bastards, man. We do have range in the back of this guy, though, and the barrage is up, so let's go ahead and use it. Got the angle. Oh, it's an AC-5 on this thing. Looks like it's a really... It's probably a... Uh, what do you call it? A Primitive uh, Banshee. Probably a primitive. Oh, well, at least he got tagged. I mean, we can still make something out of it. It's not like we can't. I mean, I got the standard fusion core. I, I, I've kept one since we've got so many primitive mechs in case we lose the standard fusion core out of them. I can put it in to remove the primitive fusion core. How can I help? Like the archer and the dervish both still have the... Uh, Jesus, whether I walk or run, it's like the same same spot. All right, let's get over here. So it's the it's just a backup core, just in case I lose one. Wow, yeah, we really need to pull out this command gotcha. module. I think if anything, the command module's got to go in the the uh, artillery mech. You got away clean. Not on a direct fire mech, I don't think. Because that's one of those things that we can load in ammo that doesn't matter whether or not you have good accuracy, like swarm ammo, hydra ammo, um, all kinds of ammo. Swarm, hydra, I know there's a few others. It doesn't matter. Thunder doesn't matter. It's better if you have a lower chance to hit. So we can load up thunder on it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's just soften this guy a bit. Keep them looking at these guys. All right, we still got our Black Knight, I think, don't we? Awaiting order. We do. All right, B. Um, let's jump first. Let's jump first and ask questions later. That should be in close range, Ready I think. That that po tank is trying to um, protect the uh, the Jin Gao. Doing not a bad job of it too. I wish I could I wish I could target the legs with an offensive push from behind. That's something that they should work on. Alright, let's just fire at this guy. Rear armor it is. Commander. We're finally getting into battle. Aye aye. That was full sprint, huh? Whew. Well, <laughs> we just still got. <laughs> All right, let's just go after the ground then. Let's just do. Uh, come on. 
Should be able to target that, right? With the barrage? Yep. So he'll take two barrages. Enjoy him, buddy. I don't think he's fast enough to escape the other one. Good luck. She's only got six chevrons of evasion. It's going to be harder to hit her. There's the first one. Well, that's, that's not bad damage. For one ton? Yes, Commander. I mean, it's not the best, but... Alright, beautiful. Let's fire on this guy. Target lock on enemy rear. Screw you! Come on, bail out. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, damn you. I'm gonna have to attack from flank now. I don't want to kill him this way. Because we'll probably lose all the X pulses and everything. <sighs> Makes me wish we had our... Uh, okay, we heated him up a bit. Makes me wish we had the uh, art, the uh, avatar here. We can keep this guy heated up so he can't get out of that uh, second barrage. But whatever. Going full throttle. All right, time for some leg shots if you can, buddy. We got the offensive push. Let's use it. Let's use it. Just the legs. All right, it's fine. We knew it was going to be a tough shot. Okay, well, at least we got our, our AMS in to help our bushwhacker friend here. This guy's still doing that, eh? He's really the guy we want to leg, but... Okay. Commander. Let's get up the hill if we can a little bit. Minefield on the way, eh? Oh, well, shit, it's right there. Let's go this way. Should be able to lock this guy. Oh, he does have a lot of leg damage. Let's see if we can pull that leg. Come on. Still having trouble with that. Alright, what do we got here? 71 left in the leg. Wow, one's got a really good chance to hit. The rest don't. Uh, let's leave the Apollos off. Let's just fire at that leg. Nope. But we're going to jump over with the other side with uh, I've got Queen back. B and attempt to do the same thing. Let's get up here. Roger. Just shoot at the Banshee. I don't think you got a good chance to hit anyway, so... Spy sat ping. That's kind of cool. Let's just fire on this guy. Affirmative. God, yeah, well. You're used to shooting missiles. I mean, come on. What did you expect? Can you stay there. Stay there. Ah. Uh, oh, he's right on the edge. I don't know if that'll work or not. Yeah, so I think the command console should be on a heavy mech. Heavy artillery mech with all the uh, ammo that's going to give it the ability to um... okay is he in the range no with th to give it the ability just to fire and then not have to worry about where it's hitting commander all right they're trying to suck you in trying to suck you in here kid Nope. Yep. Let's get into here. We'll go. Down the hill a little bit, but that's fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and vigilance. Then we're going to OP this. God, the resolve we have is just insane. All right, we're going after this leg. Here it comes. Roger that. Nicely done. Reporting critical hit. Let's hope we get initiative on him next yes, turn. Get up here. That'll help with targeting. I think we're going to go after the Banshee. We're going to leave that other guy for um, Queen B. So that's... Yeah, see, this is, like, I think, the primitive version. I'm pretty sure it's just a regular crappy one. But parts is parts. If we get a good Banshee, let's go after this leg. Then at least we'll have parts from an old one to uh, supplement. We get the leg we did. Come on, man. Bail out. He's panicking. He 
He's injured. He's panicking. Maybe he'll bail out. Maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Come on, hit him with missiles. What are you shooting for? Torso. Left. Why the left torso? Don't go for the ammo. Ready for orders. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but okay. Get, let's go up to this this poo tank. Gonna warlord this. Front load some damage on this guy if we can. Here it comes. With Beautiful shots. He's panicking. Okay, Hopper. Let's follow that up with something if we can. Wow, sprinting and walking is the same. Aye, aye. Don't shoot the Black Knight in the back of the head. That would be bad. All right, same thing, Warlord. Not that it matters because uh, we got a shitty chance to hit. But all right, let's hope we get it. Oh man, painful. That's a clean miss. It sure is. Yeah, just the wrong battle for this Battlemaster. The wrong battle. It's really needed in a frontal assault, and I think for sure that uh, that um, I'm going to pull out the uh, command console. It's in the wrong. It's the wrong mech. Yeah, where are you going? That whole zero movement, eh? Don't you just love that? And he'll like turn and fire at somebody. He looks mean as hell though, like this Banshee looks mean as hell, even though it's like the old version. Yep. Like the Black Knight looks sleek, and it looks like a fighter, but that Banshee just looks mean. He just looks like, I'm gonna fuck you up. Alright, let's see if we can get that leg now. Should be able to get it. How much has it got left? 16, so let's not go too crazy. Um, let's go with our best chances to hit. Um, let's go this way and hope we get it. Copy that. There we go. That's gonna hurt. Now his back's already taken damage, so we'll see what happens when he lands. Okay, he still seems to be okay. Uh, okay, one more jump out and then back in again, and I think Lifting off. we won't have to jump anymore. Because I think we should be able to kill that poo tank this turn. I'm going to go after it and try and screw it up. This guy's just about done. Alright, Hopper. How can I help? Well, you can start by actually hitting something. Let's shoot the Banshee in the leg. Oh, right. He's up now. Jesus. He's just going to get wrecked. Okay, we're going to go through flames because I'm interested to see how well this thing sinks with flames on it. Not very well, it seems. Let's not overkill the damage. It's, it's like 114 from this range, but let's not overkill the damage. <laughs> let's just leave that off for now. Or we could go... Let's see how far the spy sat ping works. I've got a sensor lock. Wow. Well, we didn't quite get the last guy, but that's not bad. That's a pretty good distance, you know? Pretty good distance, I gotta say. It's acceptable. Alright, get on that pole, would you please? Actually, no. Uh, let's see if we can pull the other leg on this guy down here. Because he's down now. 75. We're going to leave the Apollos off. Firing. That looked like three leg hits to me, but unlikely. Because it would have penetrated. Oh, he shut down. Did he bail? I think he bailed out. May have just bailed out. Receiving you. That Poe decided to uh, shoot you, buddy. What do you say to him? We say, bye bye. Target acquired. That's what we say. Vehicle down. <laughs> like I mean, look at him. It, I mean, I know it's the flames and the and the uh, and the heat and everything, but it just looks like he's just angry as hell. Like, look at it. I'm gonna kill you now. 
It's the Banshee of Moria. Damage is minor, Commander. Yes, Commander. It's a Balrog, a demon of the ancient world. Swords are no more use here. Run! Roger that. Let's get on this guy. Uh, let's not do that. God, the resolve is coming out our ass here. All right, let's go after this guy's other leg. I don't know if we'll get it, but let's give him the barrage too, because why not? Okay, looks like we hit a torso. He's panicking. All right, if she shoots him again next turn, he may freaking bail, but we'll see. Come on, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out, bail out. You know you want to. You don't want to be there anymore. We're just going to OP this guy. Oh, down to 33, eh? Let's leave that off. Let's go with these two, see if we can get it. Nope. Because of course not. Damn it all. Yes, Commander. Can you not get... Yeah. Not that it matters. Let's get around beside him. I know the sensor lock is not going to work because he's got no evasion, but... Gonna use it anyway, um, so I get used to constantly using it. Orders. Are we gonna get a solid line anywhere? I don't think we will. Oh, we will back here. Confirmed. We're at long range anyway, pretty much. So let's go after that leg. Now he still has to move this turn. Uh, let's not shoot it with that though. I'm gonna go with everything else and hope we get it. Let's fire. Affirmative. Nope. That's a miss. He's not going anywhere. Not like he can actually walk anywhere. Now Queen B should go first. Oh no, the gorilla. Because of course he does. Yeah, blow him up. Fuck you. You. Be interested to see what the barrage does to this dropship. <laughs> aye, aye. Oh, okay. Send this. Send this that. nastiness. Talk to me. All right. Well, cool. uh, we don't get to see it hit the dropship. I uh, oh, eight damage. So I guess you can technically damage the dropship. Mission successful. All right, four and seventy-eight thousand. That's not bad. Now, since this, I know this mission was long, but we're gonna do another one right away because this was not a good. Uh, Oh man, we don't see these very often, but I'm I But we got air oh god, four aero systems. That vehicle had four aero systems. Arrow one shot. How much ammo do they have for arrows down here? Arrow seven. Oh my god. I don't think we can afford not to take... Let's drop the arrow ammo in anyway. I don't think we can afford not to take that, though. Oh my god, an Ultra 20. I think we've got Ultra 20 ammo, too. Man, I'm kind of glad we weren't... Uh, at that... Bit. We don't have any arrow systems. Let's grab one arrow. AMS Mark II as well. We really want the advanced AMS more so than the Mark II. Mark II is not bad, but XL engine, that's, I mean, we could just go for C-bills, but I think the gear here, oh my god, I have Jam uh, Jammer Mark III. <sighs> but 
That's great for the like medium max to get in there and jams enemies uh, chance to be able to see us. Double Goss. Ultra 20 ammo. We don't have any Ultra 20 ammo anyway. Well, let's go with it's a 325 core as well. Let's go this route so we'll have the ability to make an arrow mech. So we know we can do it in the future. don't have to worry about it anymore. Although there's three medium X pulses right here. I know we're going to use the X pulses right away. That's the thing. That I can do right away. That I'll go right into the, uh, the lamb. Although we encounter these a heck of a lot more than we do the arrows. Let's go with arrow. All right, well, we got the Banshee part. That's good. The mech that we can't pronounce, that we got that part too, because that's great. Uh, sniper artillery, I think we've already got. Well, we don't have any sniper. Oh, that's interesting. We've got two tags. So let's sell that. We can sell these cockpits. The 325 core. Oh, my God, that's awesome. And then an Artemis system. We do have two left over, so let's sell that one, because we could use the sea bills And Ferro Fibers, we have two left over. Let's sell that, keeping this. So, okay, not not bad, not bad. Okay, 48,000. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get these guys back. Should only take a second here. Okay, and then we want to go into the mech bay. Let's make some quick changes here. So take the battle master. And let's pull out the command console. Because I'm interested to see what we can do without this now. So we had, like, just ridiculous amounts of uh, resolve in that. But it's useless if we can't hit anything. So we're going to go down here. Um, now I am going to need an ECM in here as well. So let's go with maybe fire. I mean we can put the improved fire control system, tactics, uh, recon set. We want this. We want these guys in here. Standard clan fire control. Improved gunnery. SLDF gives us night vision. This needs to go in a missile mech, so we'll leave that for now. Yeah, man, I, I thought we had... We don't have any laser. We do have multi-track. Now, we do have... If I go in here, I can probably find it a little easier. Pirate fire control system. 10% weapon heat generated, though. One evasion pips ignored. One accuracy with ranged weapons. So if we grab that... Okay, heat efficiency drops a little bit, which is fine because we do have, if I go up, thermal vision's there. If I do go up here, we do have uh, another prototype double heat sink we can drop in. So let's do that, and that'll just balance that out completely. And then we want to go ahead and find, when we, we don't have room for the warfare suite now. Clan Guardian ECM, I think, is probably our best bet for now. For now, because it's only one ton, so we'll just drop that in. And then, um, we want to add, well, Thermal Vision would be nice for overheating enemies, though. Hmm. Cockpit. We don't have any cockpits, do we? No, we don't. That's one thing we're we're like ridiculously lacking is good cockpits. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Um. We could just go ahead and add the uh, multi-track in here. I think probably should. I don't know how often we'll use it right away, but gives us the ability to do it. Also, called shot, called shot modifier increased by 4%, which is a bonus. So let's try it this way. I mean, we do need to get better targeting in here for sure. But yeah, we'll go this route and see how it goes. So let's just confirm this. And now I want to see... 
I think if we take too many of these weapons off though like these are really light right that's one ton small VSPL is one ton oh it's two tons yeah see that's almost identical to it's a little more damage for less range but we get more accuracy on the X pulse these are half a ton each so I have to leave those and the bright booms are it's a bon bonus range 15 heat 30 damage I don't know maybe we just leave everything oh yeah we didn't take the uh, we didn't take those anyway so it doesn't matter yeah that's fine sorry I'm focused focused on the wrong thing all right so let's quickly get this mech back let's get our pilots back Job's done, Commander. all right let's give this another run here let's go something Always difficult see you in Oscar, let's see what kind of heavy lure they're going to take they're going to give us here let's accept this let's deploy and go Okay, this mission could either work out really well or really terrible. We'll find out shortly. At least we're up on high. Oh, we got some guys with us too. What do we got here? E, uh, where's the uh, Efreet Strike Craft? Plainsman. Ferret. Wow. Another Plainsman. All right. Now, is there a way down off of here? There is over here, it looks like. So we're gonna head that way. Let's stay out of uh, visual uh, range here. Confirmed. Problem with Queen Bee though is she's got like such good sensors and stuff that she can probably spot them be way before and I don't want to get into combat until we're relatively close. I think this probably is probably the best place we could have landed in this map. I mean, it's, I mean, other than being like directly behind them, but this is a probably a pretty good start. I've got yeah, of course. They're heading your way. Ooh, an awesome. Uh, Yu Hang, Yu Huang. I don't know. I don't know what the hell that is though. Yeah. See, now it makes me wish we had the the. Uh, the avatar with us but whatever on the move okay looks like two pretty babies but I could be wrong nope one and what is this guy Jager mech okay haven't seen one of those in a long time Okay, we got a Ostrock. Okay, so not bad. So we want pretty baby parts and then whatever what's their main mech? A longbow. Uh I if I'm not mistaken, don't we have longbow pieces? I'm pretty sure we do. I am pretty sure we do, but we're gonna get a, have to hammer this guy. Now he hasn't moved. Yeah. Can I sensor lock him? It won't matter though. They haven't moved yet, so this we'll hold off on the sensor lock until they do move. Uh, but we can do an offensive push on this guy. Come on. Gonna hit make me keep pushing tab, eh? Look at that chance to hit, man. Alright, three leg hits. Taking that. At least it looked like three legs. Could be wrong though. Look at this pretty baby. We could get some really good stuff out of this. Yeah, you know what though? It's like... Every time I say we're going to spend money on the Argo, we just can't generate enough cash... Oh, that's a nice shot. Can't generate enough cash to do that. Although I have to say, um, 
in my offline playthrough, um, I, I'm keeping my my main group down to five mechs uh, in order okay, to be able to buy the. Um, ooh, you can get it from over here. Let's spread out a bit though um, to be able to get the the, the uh, second leopard back. early. And I think really, if you're going to do it, that's probably the best way to go. Because now I'm finding later in the game, it's harder to get that. Aye, aye. All right, we got one hit on. Affect the sensors a little bit. Awaiting orders. Let's get into a position where we can go after this longbow. Confirm. Thank you. Once we get visual on that guy too, like get, I mean, we can see him now. But once we get right up on, on him, it'd be so much easier to hit him. I think. That's an assault mech, man. Goss rifle, ER large. Look at all. Look at that. Okay, this guy's sporting some pretty half half decent weaponry as well. And I just messed the map up again because you know you know how I do. Jager mech, pair of LBX fives. That's not a bad loadout for a Jager mech at 65 tons. And this guy is like a terrible loadout. I uh, mixed once again. I wish I had brought my uh, avatar, but it's not what I can do about it now. What's up, boss? You know what your job is. You know what your job is. Let's... Oh my god, you can't even... You're not even in range. Oh, you are against this guy, though. Do I want to just go here, though? I don't think so. I think we want to target... Let's go after this guy. Um, let's hold, hold off on the Warlord. Well, I think we've got the barrage and tag on him. At least that's worth it. So I think maybe we switch Hopper and um, Earthquake over to the support mechs. And we let Arachne and Queen Bee deal out the damage to the uh, longbow. Because she can hit so easily with those ER larges from, from range. Which makes me wonder, I mean, maybe that's better to, to put on the uh, Battlemaster. Because they're so light, right? They're four tons each. Because they're clan versions. So we put those guys, well... PPC in each arm and then the four ER large lasers, maybe? I don't know. It's a hard choice. Once again, if I had all the equipment in the world, it would be so easy just to choose loadouts, but when you're really limited to what you have, it's just so difficult to find good stuff. No, 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 we need... Oh, man. Don't bring the artillery back here. What are you doing? Well, at least these guys down here are mostly direct fire. So we can pull them in close by just backing up a little bit. I've got your back. Um, Moving at a sprint. Yeah, it's, it's a terrible sprint, man. Terrible sprint. If we can find a 340 core too, even it'll help. 340 or 360. That'll give us another movement point. Ooh, nice shot. That was a longbow, it looks like. Yeah, you got Earthquake, you gotta back off that hill. Move over to where Arachne is, I think. Standing by. Now we don't need a phantom mech on this. Lifting off. 
Yo, what's up, buddy? You know what's up? You want to know what's up? That's what's up. Target locked. Ooh. Oh, wait. Yeah, I still think we need to... Let's go here. We need to target that longbow. It's our chance to hit here. That's pretty darn good. Let's OP this guy. 23 left in that leg. Go after this one, soften it up a bit. Now he's got that, um, the light, uh, structure, which minus 50% structure points, by. which is an item uh, I will not use. Now I know it gives us, wow, this doesn't really move. <laughs> uh, On my way. I know it gives us, uh, more weight to carry, so in a mech like the longbow or whatever, it might be slightly advantageous, but honestly, it's really not. As soon as they pen, you're screwed, right? The structure is like your last ditch. Like, I got nothing left. Beautiful. Get right in there, buddy. Hopefully these guys move forward now, though. Come on. Because I can't get down there to deal damage. Come on. Figure it out. You know what you want to do. You do know what you want to do. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Yeah, I think the Battle Master doesn't... I don't know. Love to hear your comments after this video. I think the... Uh, maybe it is... I don't know. Maybe it is better we pull the... the uh, ER large is off the Warhammer and move it over, or maybe we think of a different build for the uh, Battle Master. Just that heat sinking in the center torso, it's just, it's made for like super hot weapons. But without the accuracy, it's kind of, it's wasted, right? Come on, Afrit, let's do what you're doing. Hi, Frit. I know it's supposed to be a freak, but whatever. Come on, Freaky. Let's do it. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, fuck them. 142 heat. Somebody's a little hot. Not that guy, it's the other guy. Ooh, landmines exploding. 25. How come your landmines do so damn much? And mine do like five points. Probably because you're dropping so goddamn many of them. Oh, you may have had like a ridiculous amount of mine dispensers too. Oh, don't shoot me! Come on! Nothing. At least that pretty baby's got okay, some help. good heat sinking. Is there a way we can just... Well, we can avoid the Jager mech here. Confirmed. Once again, this isn't the perfect battle for this battle. Wow, God, the chance to hit. Man. Yeah, we gotta do something. I, I don't know. What? Well, we got to do something. Roger that. Well, they both hit, so I guess I shouldn't argue. I think that has more to do with the pilot than anything. Okay, Arachne. Yes, Commander. Back to where you were. Moving to 
kind of. Got to spread out a little bit to avoid their artillery. And then let's... Um, okay, she should be able to pull that leg. So if we OP this guy, go back to this leg again. We only hit it once last time, it looks like. Let's hope we hit it more. I was hoping we would hit it at least once. I think we're going to have to leave this to uh, Queen B. Once we take that one leg. I think this guy is, is like all uh, close range weapons. Or I mean long range weapons. Meaning if we're point blank the chance of him hitting us is probably pretty nil. Commander. Hardcore. You know the score. Let's make sure this guy doesn't get out of here. Um, if we go with too much... But if we go with not enough, let's go this route and hope we pull the leg. Affirmative. Nope. What the hell? That's what I just said. What the hell? What are you doing? Wow, they can see you like. Not here though. At least that guy's going to shoot you. He's got to do it indirectly. Commander. Coordinates received. <sighs> well, we could fire everything against this guy. Uh, we don't have any resolve left anyway. Let's go ahead. We're going to Warlord this. Let's just see if we can hit this guy. Nope. Painful. Reporting negative damage. Alright, I saw that. Alright, at least we're relatively spread out now. Oh good, she needs the Plainsman. Beautiful. You can enjoy that barrage in a second though. Hopefully maybe that'll sweep the leg. Unlikely, but... At least they'll heat him up. Alright, allies. What are you doing? Plainsman going first. Or no, sorry. Not Plainsman. The Ifrit. Move forward and attack the two guys at the back, please. You know what? If this mission takes a long time, I'm going to just go ahead and put it to the second episode. I don't have to put a disclaimer at the end of the last one. Okay, shoot him. Shoot him. Nicely done. Nice. Help that guy out a little bit. Finally, moving forward. Beautiful. Yeah, see, he took a bunch of mine damage, too, it looked like. Like 27 or something. Now, I did have a lot of success. Not a lot of success, but a bunch of success with uh, in my offline play with mines, too, at lower levels. But against medium mechs, they were pretty much useless. But light mechs, like 20, 25 ton mechs, perfect for use against those guys. You just fire it at them and you don't even need to worry about shooting at them. Eventually they just kill themselves. Alright, Arachne. All right, we don't have... We get a perfect... We don't think we'll be able to get a perfect red line against that uh, longbow. So we're just going to move over here. We're only going to move because I want to um, ensure that uh, we can do this and get a good chance to hit. Come on. Go after this leg again. That looked like three leg hits to me, but 
We'll find out in a second here. I, I might put her arachne down right in front of it. I know she'll be in the heat, but depending on how much or queen bee, I mean, I keep doing that. Ah, uh, we don't know. Yes, commander. All right, let's take the side of this one first. Let's make sure our back is not turned to the other guys, though. Engaging jump jet. Just in case they want to go ahead and shoot us. Uh, we don't have enough for resolve. Shoot. Oh, we did hit the leg with a lot. I'm going to put everything on this time, though, because I want to make sure I hit the damn thing. That should be enough. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now I don't have to worry about this guy. The Burkut can finish it up, unless our allies do, now that they've seen it go down, they'll probably uh, attack. Hopefully it doesn't completely explode, but we'll find out. Pretty Baby's next. Well, maybe we'll just try and shred the Jagermack first and get it out of the battle. What do you think, Hopper? Oh, you can't see it. Can now, though. Affirmative. Ooh, there's... See? That's interesting. Now we've got really great chances to hit. Not exactly... Maybe... I don't know. Whatever. Let's just hammer this guy. Confirmed. Large VSBL hit. Beautiful. Orders. Same thing. Let's go after that Jager mech. Yeah, see, Hopper had a better chance to shoot that last on this guy. Interesting. Alright. Goes the right side. Scored a critical hit. Maybe if our allies go after them. Our allies go first. Nope, Ostrog goes first. Look at that. 26 damage for the line? I, I don't know what the hell that guy was using to drop landmines. He might have had a whole bunch of mine dispensers, which might be the reason why. Bomb mines, that's probably why. Bomb Inferno. Oh, you still got bomb mines left and Inferno left. That was weird. Just zoomed in while I was trying to scroll up and down here. That's a pretty damn good loadout. If you can drop those mines right in the center of them, maybe we can get that pretty baby. That would be nice. Come on, buddy. Figure out what you're doing. Drop them bombs. As long as you ain't dropping them near me, I'm good. Drop them right in here. What? He's committing suicide. Should be happy we got AMS too, buddy. Fuck you. Now, ah, you fucking dick. I lost all my evasion. Yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, I had to laugh. The uh, the milk run that I did aye, aye. was hilarious because uh, all right, the last two max was the hunchback with with no no weapons left, and the uh, regen mech. Come on, not quite enough. Are we jumping out of here? Target's taking a critical hit. And um, I was targeting the re the regen mech with everything I had. I'm like, I gotta kill this guy. I gotta get him out of here. The hunchback's got no weapons. I don't have to worry about it. All right? Let's go after it. Let's go after the the uh, the main guy. And then uh, On the, move. the uh the main guy fired at my uh, uh, avatar and hit with one shot and then with, I think it was the Goss rifle, he hit the uh, hunchback and killed him instantly. Uh, it was brilliant. Those instances of, uh, this guy's got no evasion, this guy's got no evasion, no evasion, like, they got no evasion, that sensor lock is useless. Let's go against this guy's leg. Here it comes. That should do it. 
We get it? No? We penned a lot though. We penned a leg. Almost got it. I've got your back. Do you? It's the chance to hit this guy. 66, eh? No, we're gonna leave the Jaeger and the uh, Ostrock for Earthquake. I'm gonna try an OP on this guy's leg again. All weapons are go. Okay, the BSPL got it. That. Okay, not bad. I'd be interested to see what it would be like on flat terrain. Come on, Plainsman, finish that thing off. Oh, you... Yes, Commander. You dick. Got it. Got to get that one evasion chevron up. We finish this guy off, I think. Maybe. Hundred and forty-six left. We don't have any resolve though. Uh, let's just shoot this guy. I'm gonna drop the barrage in there too. Might as well. Okay, that hit beautiful. There's the knockdown. He's panicking. There goes his other arm or his torso. Yeah, he's he's done. He's got nothing left. Our allies should finish. Should clean him up. I think. This guy's finally deciding to move in. Now he's got to move through the minefield too to get to us. Hopefully our bomber can fly in there and drop some mines on these guys again. It'll be interesting if we get to use vehicles, hopefully in the upcoming versions of Rogue Tech. I know they said they were going to try and integrate it. Maybe that's what they're working on now. I don't know. It's been pretty quiet since they've... Uh, ooh, that was a nice little run. It's pretty, been pretty quiet since they've been uh, um, working on Rogue Tech, so I don't know. It's the past little while. It's been a couple of hot fixes here and there. So they must be working on... Oh, who was that? Who was that? Was that the Ostrock? It was. No? Was it the Jagermech? That, who bailed? They took leg damage and bailed out. No, it was the Jager mech, I guess, gave up. I guess so, he had no weapons left. I mean, what's he gonna do, stand up and die? Ooh, there it goes. Bam! <laughs> I don't know why he said that. Good to go. A straight up attack. I don't really want the Ostrock. We got enough resolve. Got enough resolve. If we miss though, we torso him. Have some balls. Alright. Alright, alright, I'll take that. What do you got left? 97. Alright, let's go this route. Oh, one hit. <sighs> Awaiting orders. Let's get your stability back. Roger that. Thanks. Talk to me. We don't have any resolve left. That's fine. Let's go on the Ostrock. I mean we could try and pot shot the pretty baby, but like we're I'm worried that we're going to just kill it. Oh, yes, VSPL again. Take that. Going down. You're going to enjoy that barrage in a minute. Oh wait, I knocked him down? I didn't realize I knocked him down.
That was weird. I'm sure I realized it, but forgot. Because you know how I do. The other thing I noticed, too, is that the barrages don't seem to affect mines. I was trying on my offline plane. It didn't seem to affect the, the mines in the area, so that was kind of interesting. Although it should. It should wipe out any mines in the barrage area. You'd think that, anyway, with the amount of artillery coming down. Not going to use those minefields at all. You could have won the match for us already if you used the minefields. Just saying. Ooh, head hit. Nice. Make him bail out. Yeah, man. Make him bail out. Make him bail out. Let's try and finish him off. Oh, we're going to do this, though. Just with a little extra chance to hit. Roger that. Nope. We can knock his ass down. Oh, he bailed out though. <laughs> I gotta stop talking. Uh, Alright, B. Commander. Pretty baby's all yours. Maybe not. Uh, let's get into the green here. We'll go. A little too far away. Yeah, I can't believe I missed those mechanical jump jets or whatever they were on that uh, the last the the a few missions ago. Oh wow, wow, both of them hit. Nice. Because those would have been great. I get, I mean, I, I, know, I know you guys have seen, I get tunnel vision sometimes when I'm looking for certain things. Well, they finally got a shot on me. Or a half decent shot, that is. Holding. Yep. I know. Receiving you. Alright, Quakey. Uh, he's got 58 left here. Let's leave the snub off and go with the rest. You know what? Let's use the big guns on this guy and see if we can get a shot on him. I'm going to Warlord it. See if we can get a hit on this guy. Now oh, we got the tag on him. Take that. Yes, got to get used to... Just keep doing it. The, the more I do it, the more I'll use it. Now you should... Wait, can you see that pretty baby? You can't. That's interesting. Wow, you can't even see the... Oh, you can from up here, though. Copy Not up. the best place to be, but we're going to go there. Forty-eight, huh? Alright, let's open up on this guy. Better chances to hit. Here they come. Enjoy it! Come on, turn and face me, you bastard. Alright, we're leaving you for Arachne then. Or Queen Bee, I mean. You know what I mean. Just assume when I say Arachne, I mean Queen Bee. Because that's how it goes. Come on, guy. Get in there and do something. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Andy up. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Alright, just pull away. That's fine. Waiting for orders. Alright, B, let's get in here while we got some resolve. Perfect. Perfect. Go after this leg. Sweep the leg! Nope. 
wise that you wait till she moves into an area, then you shoot every freaking time, buddy. F this guy. Just hammer him. Wow. Tag's on. I've got your back. Okay, good chance of taking him. Roger. Okay. Lost evasive, that's a bonus. Order. What do you think, kid? What do you think? Need to end this guy's reign of terror. Firing a full salvo. Come on, leg, 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 leg. Yeah. We got the leg. <laughs> and everything else. We're only getting one piece of salvage from that. I think I'd rather have the longbow, though. Now, that would be a nice mech for hopper to take over for a missile mech. That's a miss. That's a big miss. Now you come back, eh? Let's finish this guy up. So the other thing we gotta look at putting in everything is like a C3 unit. Yeah, you got the chopper. Or the VTOL. Yes, Commander. Just straight up shoot this guy. Firing on target. Couple hits. Affirmative. I don't think we're going to move her forward again. I think she'll stay there now. Commander. Yeah, see, he's like these guys position themselves in such a way that we can't shoot them. I mean, it's brilliant. It's also a pain in the ass, though. Keep moving this way to see if we can get to, to a position where we can see him. Waiting for orders. Like he's like we should be able to just tilt down and wait. Oh. Uh, 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 there we go. On my way. Side shot. Oh, come on, man. No joy. What is it about being up on this Rocket hill that we're not liking? I don't understand. Got the height advantage and everything, and we can't just shoot this guy. Don't think that's going to work, but we'll move over here a little bit. I'll break him in two. You won't break him in anything if you can't shoot him. We'll take the flames. Use a little bit on this guy. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, maybe not all that. <sighs> Let's just shoot the MRMs. That's fine. Okay, make him unstable. A critical hit. Let's look for a knockdown now. Aye, aye. Um, got the resolve. Don't really have anybody else that can shoot him. Roger that. Ah, I just jumped into the barrage. Because I'm smart. Ooh. Hopefully we get lucky and hit that leg. Or the other leg. That works too. Wait, maybe that was that leg. You know me in my direction. So I think that was the weak leg. Receiving you. Alright, you can see him. Let's get that leg. Let's just do it. Copy that. There it is. Great, we don't hit, get hit by the uh, barrage. Alright, let's go home. I meant to do that. 
All right, this was an excruciatingly long uh, episode, but we did make some good sea bills. We did make some good salvages, particularly on this one. Now, this is a pirate longbow, so I don't know. We can only take two. Damn. TBM 30 pirate. We need the ammo. Three, there's the 360 core. God damn it. Um, Radical prototype double heatsink kit, because of course it's there. Spall liner is there, of course. Now Thunderbolt 10. TPM 30, what does that thing use? Where is it? Uses Thunderbolt 10 ammo. Capable, does it fire three of them? Recoil of three. Jam chance of recoil times 10%. Mitigated by gunner recoil reduction. So, yeah, it does fire three of them. 17 tons. So that longbow was packing two of these things. That, you, you could fire six of them at once. That's crazy. Pirate weapons are nuts, man. The jam chance is recoil times three. And I'm assuming each one that you shoot has got a recoil of three. I'm assuming that. I don't know if that's true or not, but that would be my guess. Is that a heat 42. Unless it always fires that. It always fires three. And recoil of three is really nothing then. Especially if you have in the arms with arm mounts. If you can put arm mounts in, that's great. And a cockpit, and a cockpit, or the uh, fire control system with recoil reduction. Although I think I want the longbow parts more than anything. I think I would be a miss to not take these. Although it's only got two, it's only got four missile hard points. They are in the arms, though. Um, Damn it all. Okay, I'm taking it. Got a Jager Mac part, big deal. Two endo steel, which I think we'll keep. Pirate engine. I don't know. The cost to put it in now. 255 core we don't have any of. 260 we don't have any of either. But we'll sell the 255 and keep the other one. Uh, keep the double heat sink. We got the spa liner. Oh yeah, man. Let's hang on to this pirate engine. I sold the last one that we had. We get a bonus when it's active. Heat per turn when active. Doesn't really matter. Chance of failure though. Reduced by piloting skill. So it would be good for a melee mech. Let's hang on to that. Maybe we'll use it for the melee mech. Minus 15% engine weight change. Um, six slots reserved. Let's hang on to it. Let's hang on to that. Well. That's like nothing for repairs. That's beautiful. All right, this episode was really long. I apologize. I'm going to keep it intact. Um, and we're going to run the second lance in the next episode. Hopefully, we can find a good mission for them. But I'm going to end this one here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please drop any comments about the battle master. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking that maybe we do go back to the double VSPO, one on each arm, and then try and find some longer range weapons for the torsos, like maybe some, I don't know, like ER large lasers or something for the torso, something to give it some range. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. I'm going to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.